Hello, Southwest Water. I'm Fox 4 meteorologist Fred Eric. I want to bring you an update on what's going on just off the east coast of the state. The National Hurricane Center is monitoring this area. It's a broad area of low pressure. The city in a couple hundred miles off the coastline there, and it's going to continue to pull to the north. Now, while its proximity looks a little alarming, this is really nothing to worry about at all because it's moving out of here and eventually up towards the Carolinas, and it will bring some changes to our weather pattern as we go through the next couple of days. And already this morning, we're seeing that cloud cover and uh, a little bit of shower activity. Here's what it looks like. It's very disorganized, and as it slowly starts to creep to the north, it's going to pull a boundary south, and that could lead to a little more showers and thunderstorms here tomorrow afternoon and evening. But as the disturbance gets closer to the coast of the Carolinas, the bridge is going to build back in on the south side. And what that means for us is we get back to a typical summertime pattern. We'll start each day with sunshine shine and we'll end it with a 70% chance of afternoon showers and storms. So we have today and tomorrow where we're going to be overcast with some showers possible early before the thunderstorms arrive in the afternoon. And one other piece of good news is the National Hurricane Center not watching any other area for development. We had a pretty quick start there through the first three names. Once we get a storm that reaches that status, the next name up is Debbie. And don't forget here at foxwornow.com, you can find all the information you need to prepare for the this upcoming season.